when she watching. Oh, snap. Tori. Tori. What is going on? What's going on, bro? Tori. Sound like I said Tori, didn't it? Tori. I can't even say Tori because he, he going through enough. Meg, what the freak you got? Meg, what the freak you got, Tori, going through, man? God dang. Uh, I don't even know, like, I don't even know how to break this thing down because y'all already know. Y'all already know from the rumors. Y'all already know from the rumors where a lot of stuff is at. You already know from the rumors. You already know from the rumors how a lot of people feel. Hold on, man. Let me... Why is so much goddamn light, bruh? Y'all already know, man. Tori got 10 years, man. 10 years behind this. Look at Tory Lane's lawyer. Look at Tory Lane's lawyer. Joe B's rips 10 year sentence say it's too extreme. Hmm. Huh. Uh, I mean, Brad definitely, like, you was never getting a pass for shooting a female, bro. You just, you just not, especially, especially Meg, you know? What the freak was Meg doing? But, um, uh, my thoughts on everything, I, I'm, I, I've been checking out the backstory, been checking out the backstory, and, like, what people talking about on the backstory, you already know what they talking about, man. Talking about, talking about a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Just making, making bread look, making bread look, you know what I'm saying? But we real deal gotta, we real deal gotta think about everything. I'm pretty sure a lot of his uh sentencing was evidence that they used from him being out, him laughing, you know, him doing little stuff like that, ridiculing her, you know, when she was going through stuff. I'm pretty sure they used stuff like that to make it seem like he don't even care. And and you know, and he did it, you know, alleged alleged. Um it's just it's you know, that topic, y'all know how, how in the air that topic is. It's so in the air. Who got the most to say, man? Who got the most to say? Ten years, though? Real talk. Ain't nobody doing no ten years, bruh. Ain't no artist doing no ten years. How long was Bobby Shimurda? How long was Bobby Shimurda in jail? Because he... I feel like, you know, people just rock with him because he real deal, he real deal, you know, he real deal did what he had to do. But let's see, man. We ain't finna make this long. Uh, freak. Megan says, throw the, she told the judge to throw the, throw the book at, bruh. So something got to be going on, man. Uh, something got to be going on, bruh. Dang. CBS. Tory Lanez has been sentenced to 10 years for shooting hip-hop star Megan Thee Stallion. Lanez, whose legal name is Daystar Peterson, was found guilty of three felonies in December and has been jailed since. Megan Thee Stallion testified that Lanez fired at her feet in 2020 as she walked away from an SUV they'd been <laughs> riding in. Los Angeles prosecutors asked the judge to sentence Lanez to 13 years. Dang. Well, but they is not playing. Man, I ain't even finna stick around. We finna see what, uh, since it's 10 years for shooting, man. We, we, let's see what Charlemagne and them boy got to say. And then we out, man. I'm pretty sure they got somebody reputable repping for them. 
So one of the most important things for me with anything on the two bus is I, I start my mix. With Hold on, man. On the two bus. I never, ever start. He's being sentenced to 10 years in prison. Mm. Uh, so yesterday, Judge De David Hereford sentenced Tory Lanez to 10 years for shooting Megan Thee Stallion. He was convicted in December of three felonies, assault with a semi-automatic firearm, having a loaded unregistered firearm in a vehicle, and discharging a firearm with gross negligence. Here's a statement. Rapper Tory Lanez gets 10 years in prison for shooting and injuring Megan Thee Stallion. Lanez was convicted of three felonies in the case back in December. The judge said it was, quote, difficult to reconcile the kind person and good father. Many described Lanez as being with the man who fired the gun at mm. Megan. Megan testified that Lanez fired the gun at her feet and shouted for her to dance as she walked away from an SUV. This was back in July of 2020. Oh. DA George Gascon read a statement from Megan Thee Stallion. Fortunately, the district attorney's office fought for me. I'm incredibly grateful to them and the jury for the attention to the evidence and siding with the truth. But it can happen, if it can happen to me, imagine those who lack the resources and support systems to help them. So remember, it's been three years since mm -hmm. this shooting happened. It happened in 2020. Uh, and prior to sentencing, Tory was seeking probation or a minimal prison sentence while prosecutors were asking for 13 years. I think the maximum was like 22. Mm -hmm. So he got 10. Um, and inside oh! the court, Tory said, if I could turn back the series of events that night and change them, I would. The victim was my friend, speaking about Megan. The victim is someone I still care for to this day. And everything I did wrong that night, I take full responsibility for. Yeah, you know, it's only interesting for everybody who keeps saying uh, they don't believe Tory did this, like as mm -hmm. you just read, Ashley, according to NBC News, he said in court yesterday he apologized for his actions and said he took full responsibility for the shooting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of his exact quotes God was, if I, it, Tory. He said, if I could change it, I would, but I can't. Everything I did that night, I take full responsibility. I'm just truly trying to be a better person, which I don't understand because why would you wait until the day you are sentenced to come clean? Like everything his lawyers was trying to do, like saying that he had childhood trauma and an mm -hmm. alcohol problem, mm -hmm. that only works if you admit you did it. So if that was going to be your defense, he should have came clean a, a whole lot earlier. You don't wait to the day of sentencing. Like even yesterday, they said like, if I did do it, it's because what the I freak, from bruh. trauma and alcoholism. Yeah. It's like he he was trying to man, like, bro, liability loophole that there was. I was about to say, if they oh my gosh, man, from the internet from the narrative created online, then you. Uh, I can't I can't hear. It. And Charlamagne, you like you didn't gain weight, bro. You like you didn't gain weight. You look like you you look like whatever you did ten years ago. Yeah, you might have to do it again. Yeah, you already know whoever the doctor doctor was. God damn man, I already know. I already know you going the day you see it, you, you gonna turn up. But come on, bro. I know you look in the mirror, bro. We already know what's up. What the freak, man? What the freak? Anyway, man, what the freak y'all think about Tory, man? Let's see what we gotta say. What oh, the freak y'all think about Tory, all man? All the time, especially when it comes to uh, legal cases. Because when I read the details of this case a couple of years ago, the actual court documents, and I saw all the evidence that was against Tory, including the recorded, recorded phone call from jail with him apologizing while Megan was in the hospital, I knew he'd be found guilty. Well, that's and, the and, problem. And I, and I couldn't understand why Tory was doing what he was doing on social media. Ooh. I didn't understand why he put a, you see? an album you out see? talking about the incident. Like, there was absolutely you see? zero reason for Tory Lanez to be trying this case in the court of public opinion the way he was. Well, that's the problem. Most people don't don't read. They, like, they're not going to go through the affidavit. They're going to see mm -hmm. what the headlines mm -hmm. are and go with the headlines. And even, like, yesterday, people were talking. They were comparing cases. They were comparing this to the Pop Smoke case with the, the guy who... Uh, one of the dudes got four years, and it was like, well, how does he get four years for murder, and this happened for for this? So people just compare things for mm -hmm. no reason. They're totally two different cases. Yeah, I, I would I would compare it too. Yeah, no, no cap. So well, I well, guess it was. Well, that was the same state. Come on, man, you gonna compare that? You gonna compare that all day? It was both for California. California. Yeah, it was both yeah. for California. So I guess he'll have to serve the ten years. If somebody get life, and if somebody get ten years, you are gonna be like, they need to get life. Yes, and then he'll get deported back to Canada. So well, he got to serve it here and then get deported. Yeah, he has to oh. serve it here and then he gets deported. Well, yeah. 85% of the time. And he's, and he's already done, what, 10 months? Yes. He's probably do like, what, seven, seven years? Seven years. Like that. Oh, like, that matter? my it gosh. Matter? It doesn't matter. Oh, I don't know. I think <laughs> I, know. I think it all is, it's always good behavior. You yeah. get 85% of the time with good behavior. Okay. Well, also, with, in this case, the LA County DA, George Gascon, he said that women, especially black women, are afraid to report crimes like assault because they are too often not believed. And Man... 
we ain't even finna, we ain't even finna go. We gonna stick to the title of, of the of the video, man. The man got ten years. We should switch it to what's eighty five percent of ten. You didn't did ten months. What's eighty five percent? Okay, let's figure this out. Who's smart? All right, nobody. Whatever the amount of years is should be eight. Like God dang, Tor. What the freak, y'all? Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know if his career is done. Let me know if y'all gonna keep playing that music, man. Somebody let me know if you think they thought that that was Tori on the six nine and and Kodak song. That sound like Tori to me. No cap. Anyway, man, y'all like. Comment and subscribe, man. It's your boy Fab. L-I-L-F-A-B. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Go.